heading to Tattoo Mecca, Hollywood, California, to get inked where the stars do. My journey to track the strange history of tattoos around the world has come full circle. I'm back in the States to get the fourth and final tattoo of my journey. But before I do, I'm taking a look at how extreme tattoos will get. One of the best places to see the future of tattoos is Los Angeles. Tattoos here are treated like a badge of cool and the star-studded community thrives on the rebel image. And of course, there are some tattoo fanatics that constantly push the envelope. Just like a hot new color in the fashion world, a particular shade of tattoo ink can be trendy. So what's the coolest color going into skin? There's a new ink that lets you hide a tattoo in plain sight. And that's because it's invisible under normal light. It's called ultraviolet ink, or UV, and it's pioneered by a company called Skin Candy in Burbank, California. Owner August Warshell agreed to share with me some of the secrets of the ink trade. I'm Craig. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. This is like a cool science lab in here. Mm -hmm. I like it. I understand they call you the candy man. They sure do. Uh, my company is called Skin Candy. I manufacture tattoo ink. August and his crew are known for creating unique, original colors. But ink doesn't start out in a liquid form. All inks start out as an organic pigment, like this yellow. And then from there, we add uh, our vehicle dispersion to that. Now, the dispersion, is that the paste that's going to keep it all together? Yes, it is. From there, it turns into a paste that I can put into my machine, and uh, I have all my uh, recipes in there. But the recipe for the ultraviolet ink is top secret and August won't give me the details. He is willing, however, to demonstrate how it works. First, August gets a UV outline around the star on his wrist. As the ink builds up on the skin, it appears milky white. But when it's wiped away, the star tattoo looks exactly the same. Seriously, there's nothing there. No, there is. Black light tattoo ink in there. You want to yeah, see it? Yeah, yes, please. Ready to show them. Ready to show them? Yeah, because I'm not buying it. You've got to be kidding me. I ain't kidding you. It goes on invisible, and it's right there now. It sure does. The demand for UV ink continues to grow, including people who want to stay on the cutting edge of this art form and those who don't want their tattoos exposed in public. <laughs> But the future of tattoos is getting even more bizarre. Now, it's not what you're getting tattooed, it's where. The most extreme canvas, the eyeball. Open your eyes really big, all right? Luna Cobra is one of the few people in the world pushing the limits of body modification and tattooing this far. Tattooing eyeballs has taken Luna Cobra years of study to develop and should not be done by anyone but a professional. It's highly dangerous, and the ramifications could be costly. Lots of things could happen. Somebody could slip, somebody could jump up, and there could be a big problem if that needle goes too deep. It's something that Luna Cobra keeps a secret. Part of it's a trade secret, and part of it would be that I don't want anyone to take that information and, and hurt someone with it, you know? Luna's first client wants to get a dot tattooed in the white of his eye. The procedure begins by filling a hypodermic needle with ink. All right, listen. You really have to relax. You really want to keep your eye open a lot. Just relax. Just relax. Are you, are you all right? I'm good. Once the excess ink is washed out, the dot is clearly visible. Luna's next client wants more than a dot. He's looking to cover his entire eyeball in blue ink. All right, Josh, you ready? Yeah. Lindsay, give me, give me a good opening. Wow. Good, Josh, fantastic. Let's keep that going. Thank you. Is that great? I'm ready for more. All right. Getting the entire eyeball covered will take several sessions over a period of months. And Luna's client wants to push this extreme look even further. 
He wants to add ultraviolet stars to his blue eyeball. I've already been doing the UV ink in the eye as well, um, like speckled stars, um, you know, across the back of the, the side of the eye. But for now, it's a rinse out and a month's wait before another treatment to cover the eye in blue. By now, I've just about seen it all. But I've got one more stop to make on my journey. I'm heading to Zulu Tattoo in the heart of Hollywood for my final ink. You must be Zulu. And you must be Craig. Yes, I am. Thank you for inviting me to your shop. But did you get a chance to draw anything up? I sat down with the notes that uh, we talked about, and I came up with something I think you're going to like. I can't wait to see it. Even after all my globe trekking, Zulu Tattoo stands out from all the other ink shops I've visited. The atmosphere is communal, creative, spiritual. It's part of what has drawn celebrities like Bruce Willis, Mariah Carey, and Janet Jackson to Zulu for their tattoos. Zulu works to blend styles from around the world, creating something original but steeped in meaning. So it's the perfect place to get my next tattoo. So I wanted something that represents the growth that I've experienced on this journey. And I know you've been uh, researching lotus flowers, right? Beautiful flower. It's a flower that grows out of the muck and becomes this beautiful thing. Now a little bit about this design. It's based on uh, Tibetan tonka paintings. Uh, very ancient, uh, traditional way they, you know, did their lotus. We'll use this ancient design but pump up the colors to, you know, a more modern look so you'll have the best of both worlds. That's perfect. So have you thought about where you're going to put this? You know, I was thinking the inside of my arm. Mm -hmm. I, I like this location. It's, uh, you know, it's special. It's close to my heart. Zulu puts on the stencil he'll use to trace the design. Now, we just peel that off. All right, we're done. Yeah. Woo <laughs> That's not pain free. Like a modern day shaman, Zulu honors the spiritual and physical symbolism of getting a tattoo, including the pain. It's not as bad as the tapping method in Hawaii, but it doesn't feel good at all. I have to admit, you're handling this really well. Hey, thanks. Now that's it for the black outline. Now, it's time for the color. I, I, I gotta tell you, I think that hurt worse than my thigh. Well, the good news is that's it. <laughs> so let's clean it even up. Wiping and see what we even, got. even wiping that. <laughs> even that's got a burn to it. <laughs> yeah, it all burns. Yeah, take a look at that. It's the last tattoo of my quest a lotus, the symbol of perseverance and growth. Things I've experienced on my journey and will continue to pursue. You've earned it, which is the way they should be. You sat through a very serious ritual and Write a passage, you did all your homework, and uh, you were serious about it. And uh, now you have that as your sacred mark. It's a sacred mark that reminds us of the heart and history of tattooing around the world, as well as the legacy of ancient methods and rituals that the artists carry with them into the future. I've discovered that tattoos aren't superficial marks on the skin. They have many meanings, deep and varied. They symbolize important milestones in life, and they embody community, culture, and individuality. Tattoos connect diverse groups of people throughout history and across continents in a common bond. From ancient mummies to present day soldiers, from tribal rituals to trendy fashions, tattoos are a universal